Thank you, honorable judges, and thank you, fellow participants, for standing here today in regards to addressing this very seriously pressing issue. Today, we have often heard many different types of arguments for the demand, the demand side of drugs and the supply side of drugs. However, there's one issue that always seems to be neglected, and that is regions that are transit areas for drugs. These regions are specifically special because they serve a particular purpose for solely the transit for, from the supply area to the demand area for the usage of drugs. And West Africa is one of these particular regions to fall victim to this. And it's a very, very unjust process because of the fact that West Africa, relatively speaking from the rest of the world, does not exactly supply a large amount of drugs or uh, use a large amount of drugs. Granted, drug usage is supplying, but that's because, because it's a transit area, drugs are starting to become more readily available. And this has had adverse impacts on the entire area. Terrorist groups have benefited from drugs. Why? Because it becomes incredibly easy to use them for money laundering and other purposes. The, and so I propose to you, judges and fellow participants, that has West Africa become a war, a front for the war of drugs? I say the answer is a resounding yes. Um, transit regionally has been impacted. Uh, to clarify this, the transit region has been adversely impacted and we must address the situation very seriously. I shall now transition into the four major points to bring up to address and bring forth a solution to each issue. Firstly, Africa is a strategically logistical area. This being that the ports are extremely well maintained for for drug transit. Now this might sound like a very mundane task because most countries do have ports. However, Africa regionally Africa regionally has, does not have very well developed ports. However, West Africa, because of its growing economy, countries like Ghana and Nigeria serve as great focal points for ports for shipments to come in. And given that West Africa is smack middle between Europe and Latin America, this serves for a great area to transit the drugs through. What I proposed for the solution is that we implement better the container control program of the UNODC to ensure that we can interdict these drugs and stop the shipment supply to Eastern Europe. Point two, human rights abuses. Though Africa, West Africa has been adversely impacted by the serious issue, there remains issues regarding the policies of certain countries. Drug users are often victims of this because they fall victim to bellicose policies that often leave them arbitrarily detained for simply using drugs, when the intention of these policies is more so to apprehend the drug traffickers that benefit the terrorist and organized crime groups. Therefore, we propose on the fact, based off of uh, the West African Commission on Drugs, to better, to better implement a policy that allows drug users to not be arbitrarily detained for drug usage while still being able to address the drug traffickers and those who uh, benefit from this major issue. Point three, European, Eastern European drug consumption. The cocaine usage within Eastern Europe is extraordinarily high according to uh, 2013 World Drug Report. Uh, also, furthermore, the money within the region is adequately high to that on a global scale. People can also find the financial means to afford the drugs. There's also uh, been reported a, large, a fair amount of social disarray, hence the leading to addiction for users, meaning that the habit becomes habitual and repeating and that more cocaine is needed in demand for the area. The solution that we wish to propose to this is an initiative on the, on the basis of the European region, though others internationally can contribute to if they wish, to help fund education and rehabilitation for this region to ensure that social disarray can be adequately addressed through perhaps uh, funding initiatives such as education and perhaps enhancing hospital infrastructure and, perhaps, and also hiring the professional staff needed to address the addiction within drug use. Point four, border security. West Africa has extremely porous borders, meaning that these borders are often large and it's easy to get through them. And this is not exactly addressing their coastal borders because we already addressed that through the drugs being transited in through ship. We are now addressing how the drugs exactly get from West Africa to Eastern Europe. We often see, according to the West African Commission on Drugs, that because when the drugs are shipped in, they're often shipped through the very porous borders within the African region and up to Northern Africa, where are then shipped over to Eastern Europe and their ports. So how, how do we prevent these drugs then from getting to Eastern Europe? The solution revolves around the fact of already existing measures, but to help alter them for a better solution that fits the needs of the countries in the region. 
Financial and technical assistance is, needs to be initiated in order to help develop the better border security initiatives of countries within the, the West African region. We already see that countries like the United Kingdom and the United States provide copious amounts of money and assistance to these areas, but they do it simply just to help build up the militaries. We, um, I solemnly believe that if this assistance were to become more uh, directed and used for providing better border security initiatives, AKA training officers, uh, perhaps being able to hire more officers in border regions, that we could perhaps see a, redu a reduction of drugs being transited to that region, and thus helping alleviate the problem of drugs being transited into Eastern Europe through West Africa. As, and the link between this is that because West Africa has suffered from this, that it'll help alleviate it and make logistically the transit of drugs more challenging for the drug traffickers from Latin America. In conclusion, West Africa has suffered from a serious situation of drug trafficking regionally. This, again, is because of the supply of drugs within Latin America and the demand for drugs in Eastern Europe. In order to combat this, we need efforts on all ends, particularly, though, on the demand end, because the demand is something within the global war on drugs that has been inadequately addressed. I will now reiterate my four points in that if we help address the special situation of West Africa and its uh, logistical location. Uh, further address the human rights abuses through improper legislation. Uh, address the demand for cocaine in Eastern Europe and help improve border security within the region. We will then see the result of West Africa being able to address the inver adverse impacts that happen with within it. And therefore, we'll hopefully be able to mitigate the supply of drugs from Latin America transited through West Africa and into Eastern Europe. Thank you.